We know that many people who want to build a GPT don't know how to code. We've made it so that you can program a GPT just by having a conversation. So the world is on the brink of a revolution as the eagerly awaited GPT Store, the official marketplace from OpenAI, is set to launch next week. OpenAI has recently distributed an email outlining three crucial actions that GPT creators must undertake immediately to ensure that their models are eligible for consideration in the GPT Store. If you have experience in building GPTs, now is an opportune moment to ensure compliance with these three essential steps. Being an early participant in this initiative is bound to yield significant advantages, so let me guide you through the necessary procedures. If we examine the GPT's guidelines, we observe that it stipulates rules regarding GPTs and chat GPT. Essentially, it encompasses the entirety of the document, emphasizing the need for careful scrutiny to avoid wasting time. The guideline specifically states that selecting a name suitable for an Apple service is crucial. Naming a GPT with GPT at the end is discouraged but not prohibited. In essence, the guideline urges users to read thoroughly, highlighting the importance of not overlooking details. It underscores the significance of choosing appropriate names for GPTs, discouraging names like Medics GPT. Instead, if it relates to Medics, it should be named simply Medics or, if serving as a helper for the service, Medics API Helper for Clarity. The intent behind these guidelines seems to be fostering the development of GPTs that behave more like applications, akin to those found on the OpenAI App Store or the GPT App Store. The objective is to discourage GPTs that merely bear the name GPT, aiming for a more diverse and application-like user experience. The guidelines explicitly caution against using another person's trademark. Creating a GPT for a major company may violate trademark rules and regulations. OpenAI maintains strict adherence to these rules, emphasizing the need to stay on the right side of them. Moreover, the guidelines prohibit the use of trademarks, names, or logos of public figures, profanity, and harmful topics. While creating a GPT based on recent events might be effective, users are advised to ensure that the chosen topic falls within user-friendly and non-controversial boundaries. Recent instances of GPT removal indicate the potential risks associated with covering topics in the gray area. Additionally, unauthorized use of a big company's trademark, name, or logo is strictly prohibited. The guidelines point out the prevalence of impersonation on the App Store and emphasize the importance of obtaining proper authorization for such use. This stems from the issue of apps impersonating the OpenAI platform, a problem analogous to the impersonation of big companies on the iPhone App Store. If you weren't aware, there are numerous websites that serve as GPT directories. I will provide a link to a comprehensive list of GPT directories so you can explore each one you'll find a variety of GPTs that are highly popular. Some notable ones include tools for converting various media types such as images, documents, and audio. These platforms handle individual and batch uploads, offering download links for the processed content. Additionally, I recommend exploring other online platforms that offer straightforward functionalities. Consider converting them into GPTs. For instance, explore ways to format text or automatically post content on social media. Many software and services are transitioning into an era where tasks previously handled by different systems can now be performed by advanced language models like ChatGPT, code interpreters, or tools like Dolly 3. Keep in mind that the field is evolving rapidly, with individuals creating diverse GPTs. If you can find a unique concept and enhance it using ChatGPT or similar models, it could be a valuable contribution. For instance, there's a GPT called Grimmel, positioned as a coding wizard and 100x engineer capable of building websites with a single sentence. Exploring such innovations can inspire your own creations. Moreover, in the realm of GPTs, consider niching down your focus. Instead of a broad logo GPT, specialize in a particular domain, like a GPT for creating logos specifically for software companies. Ensure that your GPT is continually updated with the latest information relevant to its niche, providing users with up-to-date and valuable content. 
for text-related tasks, such as writing or SEO enhancement, be specific in your offerings. For example, focus on SEO enhancements tailored for WordPress landing pages. This specificity can attract users who appreciate the relevance and currency of the information provided. If you're exploring GPTs for writing, particularly for SEO purposes, consider creating specialized styles. For instance, develop a GPT tailored for writing SEO content specifically for WordPress landing pages. This level of specificity ensures that your GPT remains current with the latest policies in terms of service, offering users valuable and pertinent information. In conclusion, leverage platforms like Fiverr for inspiration, as many services on these platforms are becoming automated with GPTs, engage with the community, bounce off ideas, and discuss concepts in the comment section below. This collaborative approach fosters creativity and innovation in the rapidly evolving landscape of GPTs. The fact that ChatGPT was already adapting its knowledge base as we talked about it more came up on Reddit about a month or two ago. A user posted something related to this, mentioning that the primary GPT would continuously improve as users chatted, picking up on details and preferences to tailor its responses. The user suggested trying prompts like I move to San Francisco in two weeks, always code in Python, or forget everything about my last project. The observation was that ChatGPT adapts its knowledge base the more it is engaged in conversation. Despite this interesting feature, the post didn't gain much attention, likely because it may have been rolled out to only a small subset of users during its beta or alpha testing phase. The lack of visibility on mainstream platforms, including Twitter, may be attributed to its limited release. It seems that this feature was present in the source code of ChatGPT, specifically under the Memory Onboarding Model section. The user mentioned that they accessed this information by right-clicking on the page, selecting View Page Source, and navigating through the source code. The user speculated that the feature might not have been officially released yet, possibly being in a testing phase to gather user feedback. They expressed surprise if the feature didn't eventually get released, as it addresses a long-standing desire for such functionality and would take GPTs to the next level. The user also noted that similar features haven't been seen in other companies or open-source AI models, making this potential capability unique and promising for the advancement of language models. So this is all about the GPT Store update. I have informed you about what you need to do and what you should avoid to enter the GPT industry. The GPT store will be released in four days. Until then, you can watch this video where I explain how Google's DeepMind is integrating its robots with GPTs. Click here to watch.